Friends, you never know who you'll touch in life. You never know how or when you'll have an impact or how important your example can be to someone else. My faith helps me understand that circumstances don't dictate my happiness or my inner peace. The chances you take, the people you meet, the people you love, the faith that you have, that's what's going to define you. You have to be who you are in this world, no matter what. At the end of the day, my friends, it's not about what you have or even what you've accomplished. It's about what you've done with those accomplishments. It's about who have you lifted up, who have you made better. It's about what you've given back to those people. I think, personally, a role model is a mentor, someone who you see on a daily basis and you learn from them. My faith taught me how to forgive. Faith taught me when people present themselves in a certain way, there's probably some backstory or issue or reason for the way that they are acting. It's not you, my friends. It's them. And a lot of times, it's about something that's completely out of their control. Put God first. I've been protected. I've been directed. I've been corrected. <clears throat> I've kept God in my life and it's kept me humble. I didn't always stick with him, but he always stuck with me. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams and they ultimately fuel disappointment. And understand, to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. You'll never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. It's not how much you have in life. It's about what you do with what you have. It, that's where the success is in helping others. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. That's how I live my life. True desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's yours already. My advice is this, and it's simple. Don't just aspire to make a living. Friends, aspire to make a difference. And may God bless each and every one of you, and take good care. Bye-bye now. Good morning, my name is Ralph Riggs. I am an author, addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and a host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube on their channel, Take Your Life Back Today show. Not that I am speaking of being in need, for I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I know how to be brought low, and I know how to abound. In any and every circumstance, my friends, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. I can do all things through Him, God, who strengthens me. Philipp Philippians 4:11 uh, through 13. The secret to contentment. That's what I want to talk about this morning. One phone call. That's all it takes to turn a life upside down. Everyone has a story of life spinning out of control. Maybe it was an accident, a call from the doctor, a relationship that ended, or an unexpected layoff. We know that everything can change in an instant. It can also be gone tomorrow. And if it is gone, it will, uh, will we still be happy? No, this is not a trick question. Life, my friends, is uncertain. We are not in control. If being in control is the only way to be happy, then we are destined for a life of chasing temporary happiness in things that fade as quickly as they are found. The Apostle Paul talks about finding true happiness, true contentment that lasts through the ups and downs of life. Friends, true happiness is not about what we have, but what God has done for us. Our happiness is in the provider, not the provision. Our happiness is in the giver, not the gifts giving. Think about it. Everything we have is a gift from God. The ability to learn, uh, to earn income comes from Him. The economy that keeps our investment stable and is from Him. The health that we have experienced or that we experience today is from God. Is there contentment 
in your life right now? Is there? True happiness is found by those who acknowledge uh, and daily live in the reality that they are dependent on God. If you're if you've been asking or seeking happiness in all the wrong places, spend time today putting your trust in, back in the one who provides, God Almighty, not in the things he provides. Ask God for guidance and directions. Accept Jesus into your heart right now. If you have any questions, call me at 844-405-HELP. Together we can help each other. Take our lives back. Be good to yourselves. Always be good to each other. Remember, a simple smile to anyone can change their life can change their day, can make their day, and can change your uh, life and your day too. For God so loved the world that he gave us his only son. How many of us parents and grandparents will give up our grandchildren children for the sake of humanity? Not many, but God did it for you. May God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. Take good care, and always remember that God loves you.